Hello YouTube, this is Salam. In this video, I'm going to review this laser level I bought recently. I want to give you a brief history of my experience with using long distance level. In the past, I built a water level. Basically, you could use any diameter clear hose, the length that you need to take measurement with, and you fill it with water, windshield wiper fluid, or antifreeze. I'm using water because I don't want it to spill on the ground and animal come and lick it and this cause health issue to one. However, when using water, water it's clear. So you have hard time seeing it. Also in cold weather, it will freeze. But you could manage. If you use it indoor, you could manage. And you could use it behind walls. So if you want to take measurement from here to something behind wall, you could use the water level. Basically, you check the level of the water in the hose. I built these stands using a small sheet metal as base, and I welded this piece of EMT about five feet high, and I taped this clear hose. It's a 3 8 in diameter, and I filled it with water. And I was able to take accurate measurement when I lay the dirt over here for the pad. I'm going to use the laser to grade it. It's way easier than water level. However, water level, if you have one project, it's cheap. You don't have to worry about calibrated or replacing the battery or anything like that. You use the gravity to your advantage and you'll be able to take accurate measurement. This hose is 100 feet in length, so I could set this at one end and this at the other end. And then use a tape measure and you measure the water level on this side and compare it to this side. And you know if you have to remove dirt or add dirt and so on. So this is very simple and I thought to share this idea if you already don't know, if you don't know about it. If you already know about it, then it's good for you. I forgot to add, when you add water in the hose, it's better to siphon it. Set a jug full of water and set the hose at one end and siphon the water through it. This way you don't have bubbles. This is the model number that I'm going to review. My neighbor, he has one just like it, and he is happy with it. He said it never failed him. So I shopped for one, and I found good deal on this one on eBay. Uh, the price for this unit is about $700. And I found a deal. The guy claimed this is a new, it's never been used, and it is. I opened the box already and checked it. He said there is just little bit damage to the outside box so he can sell it as a new. So I got good deal for it. I paid about half a price for it. It came in hard plastic carrying bag. It's a good thing. You could put it in your truck without worrying about anything fall on it or break it and you could carry it easy. The manual, the receiver unit, it has a disc level to give you accurate reading. I'll show you how to use it. And the unit itself. And it has a standard 5 eighth of inch thread to connect your tripod or stand.
I built the stand for this unit myself using scrap steel that I have. It has four independent adjustable legs. I could lose this bolt on each leg and adjust it up and down. I made it heavy duty. The top piece, it's about half inch thick, a steel blade, and I could use magnetic level. When I check the level of this surface, I used a bolt, the same thread as the unit itself, so I could attach the unit to here, and I welded a flat washer so I don't have to use tool. I could just tie it with my hand. And like I said, it's adjustable. I could lower it all the way to here, or I could raise it to about this high. It's weight about 40 to 50 pounds. However, I don't care about carrying this. I will leave this on the property in the shipping container. So weight wasn't an issue to me. All the steel is 16 gauge, all this uh, square tubing. And this square tubing fit inside this square tubing perfectly. And I welded a blade at the bottoms of the legs so dirt won't get inside, and this stand will not sink into the ground. I also built this grade rod stand, and I'm going to use this square tubing. I welded a blade at the end and grind it, so dirt will not get inside, dirt or mud. And after I take reading, I could put it in the stand, This way I don't have to lay the grade rod on the ground. When I was shopping for laser level, I find a few locally. Some of them in the same kind as this one. And all the one that I checked, the sender unit in good shape, however, the, re the receiver in bad shape. They all scratched and damaged because when they take reading, they lay the grading rod on the ground, and this will damage it. The mud and the sand and all that will damage it. So that's why I built this stand. And after I start the laser level, I check to where I like the surface. And I'll attach this unit to this rod when uh, the bubble in the center. This way, when I uh, grade this surface, I make sure every time I take reading, the bubble in the middle and I get accurate measurement. I see some guys when they check for a grade, they do this. And then when they start hearing it peeping, they say, oh, it's good enough. When you do this, you lower it too much. You know, this is level. If you do something like this, you don't lower it uh, one inch. The tolerance right now, it's not one or two inches. You went down about eight inches. So you don't get good surface uh, level. So you always, when you take reading, you need to make sure to check for this bubble. Always when you take reading, you need to make sure the bubble in the middle. And it take 4D batteries. And for this unit, you have to push and pull from this side.
It takes two double A batteries. You don't have to level the base of this unit. However, it's better if this surface is level. When you start this unit, it will start calibrating itself. If you start with level surface, then this will calibrate itself immediately. As you see, it's very accurate. Just little bit movement up. Or down, it will trigger it. This way, it catch the laser beam and it will show you the reading on this side and on this screen as well. Safety tip, when you start this unit, it's going to shoot laser beam 360 degrees all the way around. Don't look in this area or anything at this level or wherever you set your laser level. Also, warn the people around you to not look at this unit. Try to block the area that you're not uh, grading. If you grade one area, set this unit behind you so you don't look at it or there's no chance of you looking at it and then block the area behind you so people don't look at it or the laser don't go and hurt people eyes or animal eyes I'm going to check the calibration of this unit out of the box I set my water level I set one pole over there and one over there about 90 feet apart if you don't have water level already built you could use a pond check the level on both ends what I'm going to do I'm going to start this unit and take my grading rod and wherever it's level I'll take measurement to the water level and I'll do the same thing over there and see if it's perfect if not it has calibration uh, calibration procedure in the manual it show you how to set the calibration if I need to I'll do that I'm gonna check it for you okay the unit is started It has arrows, if you need to come down, it tell you to come down, or if you need to go up, it tell you to go up. Also, if you use shiny metal, this will reflect the laser. So be careful, take good caution to protect your eyes.
it's perfect. I was reading 20 inches from the top of this unit to the water level at both ends, exactly 20 inches. So this unit is calibrated and ready to go. I'm going to use it to grade this uh, area and I'll probably show this unit in other videos. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and thank you for your support and I'll see you later.